uh, had a phone conversation with him uh, this afternoon. Was he en route? He's, he was en route out uh, out to the East Coast. Did he have any idea before? Was there any other conversations held? Like oh, we've had lots of conversations over, you know, well, ever since he's been here. We talk a lot. We have very open communication between the two of us, and so we've talked about a lot of things over the last, you know, month or so uh, about our season and where we're going and what we're doing and those types of things. Did he ever uh, suggest that he felt he might it might be worthwhile for him to step back, or was he willing to forge through? No, no. I, you know, he 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 and his staff. I thought I thought they worked their tail off um, trying to trying to make us better. I thought they had great efforts. So no, I don't think it was ever. I mean, he never mentioned it to me, nor did I see that as a uh, you know anything he would have considered. But you'd have to ask him that question. Tom, when you make a decision like this, a lot of things come into consideration. Uh, the, the direction of the team, also the attendance. Uh, the beautiful facility, the position, you see the attendance marks. How much did that play into to your decision today? Well, I think, I, I, like you said, everything plays into the decision. You know, you want to, first of all, you want to have a great experience for your student athletes, and you want to make sure that they're enjoying playing college football, and, and certainly a focus is on them. You want to have a great uh, product on the field. Uh, you want to do great things in the community. You want the team to perform well academically. And so you evaluate uh, all of those things. And we do that with every program here uh, at the end of the season. And, uh, and, and so, you know, yeah, there's countless things that go into this type of decision. Who made the decision, Tom? Uh, I did. I make a recommendation to the president. And uh, he and I have had lots of conversations uh, about this as well. And uh, so ultimately, I make a recommendation to the president. He supported uh, my decision, and uh, we move forward from there. I mean, there was you mentioned a few things, the reasons why, but I mean, was there any one or two things that Rob didn't do well enough? Well, ultimately, uh, you know, ultimately we need to win more games. And, uh, you know, it, it's not all about winning. There's lots of other things that go into it, but uh, certainly we didn't feel like the program was heading in the direction we wanted it to. Uh, at the end of this year, and uh, so certainly winning was a factor in, uh, in the decision. How disappointing for you? I mean, he was your guy. I mean, you your first you time. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, it's disappointing because we certainly had high hopes uh, for him, and I think he's a good football coach. Uh, I think we have good football coaches on our on our staff, and uh, you know, um, so it's it's disappointing because you want to see it work. It has nothing to do with me has everything to do with our student athletes and the fact that I want to see them succeed. And uh, and uh, they weren't they weren't they weren't succeeding and that's uh, and that's disappointing. Can you put your finger on anything? You say that we're working hard, doing well, whatever. What was it? I mean, you know, he came in when he originally came in, the uh, situation was set up to to be successful obviously as yeah. as you would put it and somewhere something's not yeah, I, you know, again, I really can't pinpoint exactly what the problem was. I just know that, uh, you know, we did a lot of we did a lot of good things outside of the games. Our GPA increased. Uh, we did more things in the community. Our APR numbers got better. We have a really good group of student athletes, but uh, but ultimately, we you know we we didn't do well on on game days. Uh, we had like. Like that letter, whatever it is, and can you give us the the payout? Do you have to pay 100 percent, or is it 50 percent? Yeah, that uh, that that I, I don't know. Our, we're still working out those financial terms with our our legal people, and uh, and that, so we don't have you don't know have those right now. You don't know if you have to pay them the full three years or partially. Yeah, or? again, we're you know working through that with our legal people and with with his as well. So don't 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 okay. have an answer for what, that right now. Okay. You say you're still working with the legal people. What's what's different than what's here? Well, ultimately, that's the memorandum. There is a contract, an actual contract that is uh, that uh, coach signed and we signed and that side of things. So you'd have to get inside that uh, inside so, that contract. So again, what's different? Well, off the top of my head, Helton, I'm I, you know again I I'd have to say I don't know because I, I don't have the contract in front of me. I'm not reading from it. And again, that's what our that's what our our attorneys are working on. Now, so next Fred, step. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go. Ahead. Yeah, next step, or uh, well. That's what I was going to oh, ask. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm now sorry it's fresh. Yeah. Now it, you go back to square one with a, with a search committee yourself, probably President Fluenza and, and some of the board. Uh, starts immediately, I assume. 
Yeah, absolutely. We got a national search, and uh, I'm uh, really interested to uh, see the potential candidates out there and people that'll be interested in our in what we believe is a is a, is a great opportunity for the uh, for our next coach. I do want to ask because it was brought up in the media during this week. Was it was there just because of Luke Fickle? Was he in was he interviewed for the job or was he? In the running before Rob was hired, can can you say yes or no? Yeah, to that? we're not. We're, I, you know, I didn't comment on any of the candidates then, and I won't comment on any of the comments. Okay, com I just, candidates. Now. I had heard somebody said that, and I wanted to make I can, sure you I can get appreciate it wrong. that. Are you going to look for anything different now than you did before? Well, that's a that's a great question, Elton. And uh, you know, I think again, you first have to decide the type of person you're looking for. We really haven't begun those discussions yet, myself and the president about the type of candidate we're looking for. We're going to look for the best fit that we feel can uh, help grow our program here. And uh, and we'll leave it at that. How do you do that process? I mean, did, did you have to put something out? Or does it, did they all come to you when they hear you say Well, it's both. You, you, you know, yeah. you, you're, you aggressively look for people, and then people you know, certainly contact you, and then uh, you go from there. Will there like a posting online, something like that? I think. Uh, by university rules, we have to post something online. Okay. That's my, my belief. Probably get some calls tomorrow. I'm sure we probably get, might be getting some right now. Is there a timetable? I know you moved no. pretty quick on Rob with December 10th. Yeah. Uh, no uh, no timetable, just when we can find the best person. Search firm involved or what? We have not made that decision yet. Uh, Is that it, guys? Again, uh, if I can get one more word, again, you know, when did this start building, so to speak? I mean, it, four or five games ago, this didn't seem to be in the equation. At what point did this thing just kind of start bubbling over? Yeah, I guess I can't pinpoint a time, Elton, when I when when I decided that. Obviously, we did not end the year. Uh, our last, you know, our last four games did not end the way we wanted to, and we weren't making the progress that we would have liked to have seen in year two. But I can't pinpoint a time when. When the, you know when it really kind of headed that way. These things usually come with collateral damage in terms of Recruiting. player losses and defections and Recruiting. coaches running guys off and whatever. I mean, you to do that so fast within a two-year period is that a concern? Well, it always is, but um, whenever whenever you make that decision, and you're right, it's. Uh, but I also have to look out what I feel is best for the student athletes on the team and for the future of. Akron football and that, and uh, that has to be my uh, my primary concern. Tom, uh, Rob was your first hire. How much of this was per uh, you had gotten a relationship with Rob? But how hard is this personally for you? Because you don't like to fire. I, I assume nobody likes to fire people. But this was your first major hire in the number one in in the AD chair. Sure. I mean, you know, again, I I, I knew Coach Inello before he became our coach. Um, I consider him a friend. He's a he's a good person. He did some great things with our student athletes, and so it's always hard. He had a good staff of people that cared about the success of our team and that. So it's <clears throat> it's disappointing from the fact that, uh, of course, I wanted them to be successful. Um, but again, it's not it's not about me and and, uh, and my relationships or, or the, my feelings. It's about our student athletes and, and, and getting better. You've mentioned several times, you know. Uh, student athletes and enjoying playing football and all those different things. Is there something there that, uh, I mean, were the players coming to you? Were you getting some feedback uh, like that, that? Well, I get, I mean, I get lots of feedback from all different sources, Elvis, <laughs> as you know. Um, and that I, 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 I can say that I'm, I, am, I feel like I'm fairly close with a lot of our players, so we have lots of conversations, but, uh, but I can tell you they did not... Uh, they they were not driving this decision or anything like that. No, they're 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 a good group of student athletes who want to be successful and have really poured their heart and soul into into our football program. The assistants, what's their status then? Uh, the assistants are dismissed and their uh, so their contracts will not be renewed. And, uh, they're paid through February. Okay. That is correct. All those guys. Yeah. Okay. They're all gone. Everybody. Okay. When you say. Else? Obviously, you say dismiss. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. you say dismiss. So nobody's in the offices. Are you having a transition team or? Uh, we're still we're still working through that process.